Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, this is John back again with another review as you can see in front of me. Once again have a bowl of steamy hot noodles with the ramen variety. Today's noodles are an interesting find for me. Um, this is the first time of me having these. This is from the brand Nongshim and they're famous for their Shin Ramen. Um, and their premium version of that called Shin Black. Now this one is actually called Shin Red Super Spicy. And it's interesting because it's in a black bag, whereas the regular Shin comes in a regular bag. Um, the regular Shin comes in a red bag. Shin Black, of course, comes in a black bag. Now you have Shin Red Super Spicy, which is in a black bag with a little bit of red around the wording. I just thought that was interesting. This is from uh, South Korea, Seoul, product of Korea. Um, it does have English, uh, looks like English, Dutch, whatever D is. GB is Great Britain, so that's English. D, N, L, and F on the back there. So it has four different languages on it. So I think this is for uh, it's for distribution worldwide. It's not for uh, sale inside of Korea. Um, although it is not for sale in the United States, I had to get this shipped from uh, the UK to the United States. Yeah, it's an imported by Korea Foods. Yeah, is there? Um, Beverly Way, New Malden, Surrey, wherever that is, probably somewhere in the UK, where they imported it to. Anyway, this one, it comes with, of course, a circular noodle block, comes with a powdered soup base, and the powdered soup base, it was really red colored, but the smell is all like black pepper. I don't know how super spicy you can be if like the main spice I smell is black pepper. And then they had this which had vegetables in it. Um, according to the ingredients, the vegetables were shiitake mushrooms, uh, pak choy, which I believe is some kind of cabbage, carrot, red chili, pepper, and onion, and also vegetable protein. Um, so there is no meat in this, however it says. It may contain eggs, fish, peanuts, milk, celery, mustard, sesame seeds, and mollusks. Interesting. So it's probably made in a factory that has all those things. That's why I say it may contain it. But like the actual ingredients don't list any animal products that I can, that I can uh, identify. Um, there are some that are just like numbers and letters. Like E322 emulsifier. E306 antioxidant. So who knows what those could be. But no obvious meats. So let's go ahead and try this out, see how spicy it is. So you can see the uh, the liquid is very red. The noodles have like a yellowish color to them. It's very steamy. You know, shin and shin black have some spice to it. So if this says it's super spicy. Then it has to be more spicy than those two, you would have to assume. Let's give you a new little try. Um, 550 milliliters of water, and it said to boil them for four and a half minutes, so that's exactly what I did. It's definitely spicy, but it's also very flavorful. There's like a tang to it. Almost like a like a Louisiana hot sauce tang. I would have like a vinegar. I didn't see any vinegar in the, in the ingredients. I think there might have been lemon somewhere in there. Acidity regulators. That has some numbers. I'm guessing those acidity regulators are what's giving it the tang. It's weird that all those ingredients are just like descriptions of what it is and then like a number. The noodles are very springy. They hold on to the flavor well, which is like a good combination of 
spicy and tangy. I'm really enjoying it. I'm gonna get a spoonful of just the broth. Just get a, just a hit of the broth. I like this one. If you're into other flavors just as much as you are into spiciness, this one is a good option. This is a really good combination of spicy and tangy. So you can see vegetables floating around. Like here's a little chunk of celery. There's not a ton. So they get hit in the noodles quite easily. But occasionally you can find one. There's celery, there's carrots. Definitely some like oh, the green onion bits. Or maybe those are the cabbage bits. And then I have these, uh, grab one. It's like textured uh, vegetable protein, which they say is soy and gluten based. It has a springy, springy bounce to it when you chew on that. Very tasty, very tasty. Mmm, the shiitake mushroom, but it's quite nice. If it wasn't like temperature hot, I could take it down really quickly. But it does have it's just my right amount of spice that my lips are tingly. I have like just a bit of sweat forming on my forehead. See if I can drink some of this. <coughs> it's when you get down to uh, the more concentrated broths where you're going to get more of the spice flavor. The noodles only can uh, grab so much of it at a time. When you take down the, uh, the broth by itself, that's where you really get hit with it. I would definitely say this is spicier than the regular shin and shin black. I got a burp coming. Ooh. Well, that certainly made some room. The, the rest of the noodles are kind of small. My chops just aren't picking up a lot at the time. There you go. Empty bowl. My face is not on fire. It's definitely heated. But, uh, easily taken down, survivable for me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm like 50 away, subscriber wise, to 1,000. And that would be nice to hit by my birthday coming up soon. Give me that birthday present, please.
thousand subs. What do you say? All right, until next time. Bye.